and how it can detect the current that it is flowing through it that it's too big. It has two ways. On the bottom, here is a metal part made from two different metals and if the current is too big, it is heating up and when it is heating up, it is bending and when it bends enough, it triggers the breaker. And on the bottom you can see there is a screw that in the factory they calibrated the device to trigger at the correct current. You cannot adjust the screw, it is only adjusted in the factory. So this is one way. This is used if, for example, this breaker is for 6 amps and you would put 8 amps through it. It would heat up and disable the breaker. But second thing is this coil right here. This is for detecting short circuit. If there is a short, the current that will flow will be really high. This pin right here will go down and it will disable the breaker. Also right here we have arc chamber. Its purpose is to quicker dispose the arc that can happen when you break the connection right here when the power is flowing. It should quicker dispose the arcs. So this is the breaker part. Simple mechanics but working really well. 